You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Teen Wolf After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Teen Wolf After Show. Whoa. Hello, After Buzzers. We're here during another After Buzz TV after show for MTV's Team Wolf Season 4, Episode 8, Time of Death. I'm your host, Kristen Elizabeth Snyder, and joining me, After Buzz TV host, June Lee. Hello. We have two special guests for you guys today. We have writer, editor, Alyssa Clark, back Howdy. with us again. Hello. Thank you for being here. <laughs> and she plays Brayden. Please welcome <laughs> Megan Tandy. Hello. <laughs> Happy you guys could join us today. Mm -hmm. Yay, thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Now we have to get right to it because all the fans were so excited that Derek finally has a new love interest Yay. in town. Oh my gosh. We have to ask, now how do you guys prepare for these scenes? So you get to set and they're like, okay, you guys are going on a date today. Like, because you need <laughs> to make it believable. Right. Wait, wait, before she answers, I'm going to say how she prepares for a scene is like, Alyssa, come to set immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was nervous, and I do remember, like, in between, well, actually, no, before we even shot, I remember, like, talking to Alyssa and Angela, I was like, that man is so hot, I don't know what to do, like, literally, I was like, oh my gosh, you guys, I can't get it together, and they were just like, you know, just be you, just get out there, and I, yeah, I did my thing. When Aww. did you find out that he was you were going to be his love interest this season? Um, oh goodness, I don't know because I remember texting Jeff and I didn't <laughs> find out until because they were already shooting, mm -hmm. and um, I think there was like little hints of things, but he never really said like, "Hey, you're going to be the love interest." But it didn't come in until like later, um, probably like right before I don't know episode four. But that's when I knew they probably knew, <laughs> but I didn't I didn't know what was going on so. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we, you know, we told you by four because we wanted to get a little more chemistry right, going, yeah. you know, so you want to have, actually it was 403. Yeah, 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 yeah with, that's right. With yeah, the yeah, scenes the, with the eyes and yeah. things, and you know, so there was a little flirtation <laughs> there. If oh you yeah, watched, that was the scene that I needed some coaching. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it so well. Oh my we gosh. Didn't, we didn't cast Tyler because he's ugly. I mean, yeah, I'm yeah. just saying, you know. <laughs> So what so did true. you guys do to get comfortable with each other? Like, were there just a lot of takes, yes, or did maybe. you guys what? go play lacrosse for a little bit <laughs> back in the field? Is that I what mean, you call it? Yeah. I'm I'm like, like, what the heck? <laughs> um, honestly, we just—I mean, we would talk before we were before we would start. But I mean, there was definitely no like you know off-screen practice or anything. No way. I mean, that would have been nice. But <laughs> yeah, we, we didn't we didn't do anything like that. But um, we we just we just talked and everything was normal. And I just made sure that we both had an Altoid, which was great mm. um, and there was times where like he kind of would like step off and then I kind of did my own thing and then we just come on set and here we go didn't there wasn't there something really like garlicky spaghetti or something for dinner that night too? yeah oh and he ate some yes he did <laughs> so yeah they they bring these like oh the, the meals that they bring I I think they're pretty good and there was something really good. something <laughs> going on yeah with the garlic and I remember Tyler was like hey I'm gonna go eat some of that and he actually went and ate it <laughs> And then he came back and he was giggling. He's like, hey, just so you know, my, my breath is full of garlic. And I was like, all right, dude, here's an Altoid. Like, it was totally fine. But uh, too. Yeah, he needed like the whole box. But no, but it was cool, though. You know, I guess fun. if you you know if you're ever on a show and you don't like your co-star, that would be like a really yeah. that'd be a really awesome thing to do. Just like eat a whole clove of garlic before. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh and be like, you gotta, we gotta yep, do this. You gotta do it. But yeah, Man. with him, honestly, it wouldn't matter like what his breath smelled like. I was totally <laughs> up for the scene. So oh yeah, my gosh. that's awesome. I was committed yeah. to the job. But you, we call that method. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. yeah it oh, it was total method, method, method acting. Method. Yeah, <laughs> and it's fine. It's well, yeah. we all appreciated it. Thank you. Yes, we did. I tried to do my best. <laughs> and I would like to say, Brayden is not like, well, she might be a murderer in a 
No, she's not a murderer. No, I'm not. Yeah. And I haven't even killed anybody. Have you thought about that? Like, I haven't really, like, gone out and, like, butchered or anything. Maybe you're just yeah. super bad at your job. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Or maybe I'm lying. Maybe maybe it's not what I do. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, just... you could be the benefactor because, June, like, we've seen before, mm-hmm. Derek's love interests were not trustworthy. Yes. He's, yes. like, after the bad girl. Yeah, so that's true. Yes. He likes the bad girl. Do you think he can trust Brayden at this point? I don't know. I feel... I just... <laughs> <laughs> I just got a special feeling that I never have gotten before with Derek and anybody else when he was Aww. with Brandon. Oh, so I want to. I am staying hopeful. I really am. Yes. Do stay you hopeful. think she would choose money over Derek, or do you think she's now going to be like his protector? I think she, I I'm gonna go the wrong romance way and say that she's going to be his protector. Yeah, I mean yeah. right yeah. now it seems that way, yeah. but I mean hey, I you mean, never know. She's teaching him how to wield a gun. Yeah, let's talk yeah. about yeah. that. I know you asked Alyssa to help you practice that because of her uh, past in jujitsu. She knows she has a few skills <laughs> here and there. Yeah. She does. Yeah, I know like 20 other Japanese words too. So, yeah. <laughs> Watch out for me. Yeah. <laughs> so what what was that? like learning um, how to do that and then practicing with Alyssa honestly it was actually kind of fun because I mean I, I've never I mean other than you know the PS3 you know doing it <laughs> on the remote control I I have no experience on how it is to like take a gun from somebody yeah. and so I remember when they were showing me and it took me a few times to get it down and then you know here's Alyssa and we, we worked on it and I mean it looked great I think you did but a good job yeah. it looked awesome from beauty queen to badass yes yes, yes. yes. we can evolve you can move on to other things <laughs> You did a really good job, yes. actually. You no, seriously, Megan did a really great job. Mm-hmm. She she the the hardest part with teaching anybody or you know anybody doing something martial arty mm-hmm. that they haven't done before is people just don't stand right. They usually have mm-hmm. their, yeah, their balance is off and everything. Mm-hmm. But you actually had a really nice you know grace already. Like it wasn't mm-hmm. hard to get you to do it. You know, it was it was. Uh, you were taught well, and then we practiced, and yeah. you did a great job. Yeah. I it You're a natural really badass. Yes. No, I love I am, how they it. gave you that <laughs> scar. Do you feel more badass with like with that scar on? Honestly, I do. Yeah. I, I, I really, really Very love bad. it. And, and the thing is, too, like... I, it doesn't take like five minutes to put it on. Like we're mm-hmm. actually in there for about a good forty-five minutes to an hour, mm-hmm. and um, you're just sitting there, and then it, it gives me an opportunity to, to to really just like get into it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what? I think the scar is so sexy it too. Is sexy. It's so really sexy. So sexy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like I know. <laughs> I, I just I love it. I I hate when people sort of get those scars removed with different mm-hmm. surgeries and yeah. whatever mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. it's just like you know what? I think scars are really sexy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I it's just a part of who yeah. you are. I imagine right. if you had a really disfiguring one, you'd probably yeah. would I mean, get that face I know, face. but hers is, like, really big. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. we made it super hot. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, like, they did, did it down the cool, <laughs> right. you know. And it's it's funny, a super hot scar. I remember when um, when Eric Porn, who's one of the special effects makeup artists, he when he was putting it the, for the very first time, he showed me the picture that they had as an example, and, and he was making sure, he was like, Jeff said, it's got to be this far over so that it doesn't cover the face. It's got to be this certain kind yeah. of pretty... Like they were very specific. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I mean, if you if you watch um, 3A with the way Deucalion possibly have slashed me, like it was probably <laughs> more like across the face. Yeah. Well, but, we thought we were killing you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So I'm um, gonna tell that story really quick <gasps> yes, about please. killing yeah. you. Yeah. So I, you know, in 3A, we <laughs> in the script we killed her. Wow. That is how it and was she kept to. reminding me of that. So all I show the time. I show up on set a little late, and she <laughs> is there. And I'm like, I thought we killed you. <laughs> that was like the first thing I ever said to me. Yeah, I was like, it hey, is. I thought you were dead. What are you doing here? Yeah. So I hadn't been, you know, for whatever the the writer's room or whatever we got last minute. She was so great as the girl that, mm-hmm. you know, and had such a great attitude on set and mm-hmm. was just a lot of fun to be around that we were like, you know, well, not me, obviously, because I didn't know. <laughs> and they were like, we did, she's not dead. And oh. and we, Teen Wolf, you can do that. And Teen Wolf, yeah, you can do that. Yeah. And, you know, so we did a, we 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 changed things around a little yeah. bit and uh, <laughs> and brought her back. And I'm really glad that we did. Yeah, and we're always accused too. of doing that with bad guys, but we did it with a badass instead. Yeah, yeah. I See? love it. I it know. Out. We actually have a caller on the line Yay. calling to ask you a question. <gasps> caller, scary. what's your name? Where are you from? Hey, this is Josh from Florida. How are you guys doing? Hi, Hi Josh, Josh from Florida. <laughs> Do you have a question for Alyssa and Megan? 
Um, well, Megan, you did you did a you're doing a great job this season. You did a great job last season. So like, props to you. Like, thank you. Really, you. You're, yeah, you're really like that bad, badass assassin. Like, I give you major props. Thank you, um, Alyssa. You always do a good job. You already know this. Because um, <laughs> I like come across that way. Because I go home and cry. That's all I do. Oh my god. <laughs> Josh, did you have a question? Um, I guess my question would just be, what would you say, and this is for Alyssa, I mean, this is for both of you, um, what would you guys say has been, like, the most, I guess, rewarding, you know, scene you've done so far, or scene that you've wrote so far, to see it, like, actually on screen? Like, what's that one scene that you're just like, yes? Hmm. You, what was the most rewarding scene for you to I have an idea what that might be. To see it on the screen. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it's actually kind of weird. I, I actually can't answer the question because it hasn't it's it hasn't, happened yet. hasn't aired yet. Um, um, and there's actually a really good reason, for professional reasons, um, for the craft that I do as an actress of why I really like this one because um, I had to tap into something that I have, I don't normally get to do. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's 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 coming up. So I'm really excited. Answer. I think I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. It's actually really Exciting. cool. You, I promise that you'll love it. You know, actually, um, I, I've done, uh, the, I I think it's, I love the show, mm-hmm. and I love working on the show, and uh, as an editor and a writer, I've done scenes that I, you know, all the way from the funny to the dramatic. Um, as an editor in Motel California, the scene between Scott and mm. Styles, like, mm. uh, like I was, I think I've said this before. I was all alone in my editing bay. It was like two a.m. in the morning. There was nobody in the building, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I like put my temp music in, and I think I cried. I don't, wow. you know, I don't know, or I my That's my eyes a really got strong watery. scene. Well, I was gonna say <laughs> I can't imagine Alyssa like Clark crying. I, know. Like, I cannot crying? imagine. Have you ever seen if like they run out of my favorite sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> Ball. Yeah. Um, but you know, actually, this episode in 408 with Derek and Brayden, the mm. whole storyline was kind of my pitch oh. and kind of my writing. This and I actually. <laughs> Alyssa Clark just makes everything into She is yeah, the amazing. real badass yeah, here. No, like, she is. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's never, ever forget that this is Jeff Davis's show. And, yeah, that's I, true. and I am, uh, yeah. you know, I just get to, I just get to come play. But the, this scene was. And I was on set, um, kind of in a, a more of a producer role, mm-hmm. uh, so working with the director and, and working with with Megan, and that was like so. I got to see this one kind of all the way through. I mean, Gabe edited it, but I stood over his shoulder a little bit, and then he drunkenly told me about it one night. That's a whole different thing. <laughs> <laughs> if you have Gabe on, you could ask him about it. I have pictures. But, um, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, but so actually, these this group of scenes was something that was really uh, it was really fun for me to do. I mean, it's not the most like intensely emotional but it's super sexy and it has some action and we got to talk about six hours which you know i really you know love doing not yeah. about guns but just like coming from action <laughs> movies and love of action movies and all mm-hmm, that kind of stuff mm-hmm. you know i thought it was fun to bring that element into um into teen wolf so yeah, this absolutely. was a th- this episode that that storyline in this episode was actually really um rewarding for me to do mm-hmm, actually yeah. you did so. a great job how many times yeah. have i said actually i'm gonna take a drink <laughs> I do the same thing. Actually, I'm going to take a drink. Yeah, actually. No, visually, well, they, yeah, um, just visually, the scene with Derek and Brayden in his, in, he, they're in, in his, his loft. loft. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know what it was. I've never seen that loft look so good. Yeah, it like, looks yes. kind of sexy. It looks, it looks good with so the girl in it, I think. There you go. Yeah. 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 And not just any girl. <laughs> yeah. That's the accessory that, that's always needed. Yeah, I it not, is. I am not calling women accessories. Yes. No, we are not. <laughs> oh, no. Yes. No, no, but it is the element that changes everything mm-hmm. that's necessary in a mm-hmm. man's life. Mm-hmm. Josh, thank you so much for calling in. Hey, we thanks, really Josh. appreciate your support and your questions. Thanks, yeah, thanks, Josh. That was, that was an awesome question. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, moving on to the show and the styles and Malia. Now, I love that scene that we open with. This is mm-hmm. where I get death threats. Where they're I, getting oh, comfortable in bed or uncomfortable or comfortable or uncomfortable. Yeah. I just love that scene because we've all been there. It's mm-hmm. very relatable. 
And in this moment, I was thinking, oh, well, he's uncomfortable because of what's going on in their relationship, mm -hmm. her not being there. Like, I didn't get yet that he was just streaming this. Mm -hmm. And then when he wakes up, we, of course, find out that, you know, she's not there mm -hmm. and he's very lonely and he's dreaming about her being in his bed mm -hmm. and trying to get comfortable with her. It's actually not... I mean, it wasn't super clear. It's actually not a dream. It's mm, more yeah. of him like not being able to sleep. Just thinking because about thinking it. about okay. all the times that they've spent together and mm -hmm. her, the emptiness. But yeah, I like the way that you don't know at first. You're like, mm -hmm. oh, maybe they made up, you know? Yeah, because yeah, she yeah. Is, she's there. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. like he's like envis envisioning her being there, yeah. and we've all had those sleepless nights. So I really oh, yeah. like yeah, to absolutely. see that turmoil yeah. mm -hmm. with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and it obviously good. it's reflective of mm -hmm. what's going on in their relationship. Now we see Malia. Go goes off to find Peter and this is what Styles is scared about because mm -hmm. he's worried that she's going to start forming a relationship with him yeah. mm -hmm. and obviously she goes to do that she breaks into his safe which yeah. clearly he admits he needs a new <laughs> yeah. safe yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on that, thing. that was funny um, <laughs> And she finds these adoption papers, which are apparently empty, that he paid for. And he tells her, he, we get this finally, this father-daughter mm -hmm. confront, confrontation that we've been looking forward to seeing. Yeah. We want him to sort of be a father to her. Mm -hmm. um, I do. I mean, we all want him to sort of change, <laughs> okay. you know? Yeah. 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 So yeah. by being a father, we want to see that change in him right. actually no be more a responsible yeah. Yeah, father. Hey, 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 hey the let's, nice. let's not get crazy. <laughs> yeah, let's <laughs> leave Ian in those v -necks. <laughs> Everyone has I'm a problem with that, those. I'm going to get that thrust now. I know. I so don't mind the V-neck. I, don't I don't want to make it clear. clear. Totally I think he's joking. coming on in like two episodes. I'm going to request. Tell him to wear a V-neck. Yes. Like, what's wrong with the no, V-neck? No, 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 no. I don't know. I'm so, I'm like so everyone the on the interwebs is just giving him a hard time. I think it's a running joke. I think it's a running joke. He has had some pretty deep Vs. I mean, they, yeah. I mean, pull it off. they're more like cardigans. So. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna say it's just the way his body structure is right. because I know pushing it more open yeah. with his pectorials. I mean, yes. it works out. Neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or that's yeah. it. Yeah, veins. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> work out enough, and your V's will look right, deep. Mm -hmm. Enough about Bowen. Let's get back. To <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, well, fine. I mean, can I ask I'm a question though? But too. I don't know if it's because <laughs> Dylan just made a choice in his acting, but for me, there was just like this hint of like possible foreshadowing of him like having mental illness again because like it was just very sh it wasn't it was almost like was it a dream was it a hallucination mm. because and I don't know if it was a choice on his part but like it made me kind of think like oh is he like losing his mind again like wait is is our hallucinations a sign of mental illness no 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 not necessarily <laughs> not necessarily because the invisible rabbit right there yeah. says that's not true. <laughs> I was say, I'm always, then, I'm, then I officially have mental illness if that's the case. I don't know. I feel like we've crossed that bridge before, so we're mm. not going to return to it. Okay, Although, fair enough, fair enough. you know, they still do owe those Eichenhall spills, and I don't know yep. what's going to come of that. So we might be returning to that plot line a little bit. But yeah. I think that, you know, especially with Malia in his mm. life, I think it makes him more of a rock. For mm -hmm. her. So, if anything, mm -hmm. I think that it stabilizes his mental uh, yeah. compass. And it's funny, I, I, when I was watching it, I, I honestly just saw it more like, you know, he misses her. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so it's just kind of like, you know, what do you do when you miss someone? Just like, as we were saying, like, you, mm -hmm. you just can't get them out of your mind. Like, I was thinking right. of it more like that than, than yeah. it being a mental illness. But I let him out of the basement when I miss him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's no. hilarious. She probably does. <laughs> I didn't mean to get say that he has yeah. mental illness. <laughs> uh, so, yes, we get this <laughs> confrontation with Malia and her father. Now, he says he has all this money on trying to find, you know, that her dude mother. dude is broke right now. Yeah. Tell him some money. He's broke. But apparently he, he's been putting the money in the right place trying to find her mother, mm -hmm. who is the desert wolf, which sounds awesome. So yeah, her mother yeah. was obviously a coyote. Mm -hmm. And hopefully she takes after her mother because... Because we even see that interaction with Styles, where he's like, "You're not a killer," because she thinks she might have mm -hmm. taken after Peter. Because mm -hmm. right before the accident with her family, she mm -hmm. was she said that she wished they were all dead, and of mm -hmm. course, then we all know what happened. What, so, what makes you think the Desert Wolf's a good guy? That's I true. mean, the desert wolf could be the benefactor for all we know. I mean, <laughs> just saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, plenty of people have been like saying that. Or I can probably possibly be a good contender for, for the benefactor for being the benefactor. I mean, I 
we have discussed this in episodes past. I really think, you know, they're pulling a lot of red herrons on us this season, <laughs> you writers in the writers' they room. They do a great job. Yeah, you who, guys do. Who I who love. Do you, who do you think? Well, we've said it before. We thought we were suspicious of Argent just because he actually has motives, considering, mm-hmm. you know, he lost everything. Okay. Mm-hmm. But he's actually been helping everyone this season. And then we said Scott's dad because even we see in this episode, mm-hmm. he's going away again. Big yeah. surprise. Mm-hmm. And we know very, that very, he's very working on another show, suspicious. so it could just be that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But also, we do find that he's suspicious because he's supposed to be there for Scott and developing mm-hmm. that relationship. And we really haven't seen that relationship develop. Mm-hmm. And he always seems to, sh- to know more than he should. Mm-hmm. Also, he's super tall. He's yeah. super you tall. Yeah, and those, no. those, 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 those boots. Those <laughs> Wait, forget his, his height. How about his face? The man's gorgeous. Well, so that, that also, gives it away, too. Yeah. But if everyone who's gorgeous on the show is <laughs> yeah, a that's benefactor. True. Yeah. And you know, it's funny. I, I even asked Alyssa and Karen about that. I was like, does everybody have to be good looking? Because seriously, you go on set and it's like, oh my gosh. Yeah, we have a really ugly cast. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. It's so ridiculous. Start over. <laughs> no uh, one's ugly. Okay, sorry. You can continue. I just, so when did you know who the benefactor was? Like what episode in did you know? Oh, I can't answer that. You can't. Okay, because um, that might give something away. Probably. But you didn't know for a while, right? And they you were know. guessing? They wouldn't have known until they read the script where it's revealed. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That was oh, actually okay. a, that was actually a pretty well, we kept that one actually pretty yeah. under wraps. Nice. Unlike in you know, the first season and stuff, it was, the mystery wasn't mm-hmm. That's kept mm-hmm. up with the wraps, but now it, yeah. were you it super good. surprised when you find found out? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> so uh, next question. Well, well before we move on, <laughs> let's just finish with Styles and Malia. Where does their relationship stand? Are they were are they better now? Because she did come back to him after mm-hmm. she sort of talked with Peter. He's making her feel better. Mm-hmm. Are things going to be okay between them? Is I she going to go so. back to Peter and keep trying to be his well, daughter? <laughs> I think, I mean, I think it's not, yeah, I, I do. I think she's going to be pulled back to Peter just because, you know, he's her father, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, that's her dad. But I definitely feel like she will go back to to, to styles. styles. Yeah. 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 So let's talk about Lydia. <laughs> let's talk about Lydia goes back to the lake house and her mom's been following her because there's no boy with, so something's yeah. wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's, oh, yeah. that's, that who, that's who I think might be another benefactor possibility. Her grandmother? Her grandmother. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, you guys have definitely thrown mm-hmm. that card out this episode, but Absolutely. I feel like each mm-hmm. episode I'm pointing at somebody else. Yeah. Mm. So now it's we get writing. the whole thing. Like coach. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And other people. Yes. Where's he been? Yes. Yeah. Other people <laughs> yeah. have been saying that coach is definitely a possibility. And they're saying Danny too. They're throwing it to yeah. anyone who they don't like see a lot too. Well, and then they also throw it to me too. So, yeah. I mean, you never know. It could be me too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I kind of feel like it might. In a way, you want it to be someone you know because it's been like under your nose the mm-hmm. whole time. But in a way, it's interesting if it's someone we don't know mm-hmm. and they've sort of just been working behind the scenes, like you know, Wizard of Oz behind the curtain mm-hmm. type mm-hmm. of thing. So um, we do get that you know her grandmother's ashes were there, and her mm-hmm. grandmother wanted her to spread her ashes over the lake on her mm-hmm. 18th birthday. Mm-hmm. And that was weird, but she discovered that it was mountain ash and not Mm -hmm. her grandmother's ashes, Mm -hmm. which makes us all believe that, of course, her grandmother's probably still alive. Mm -hmm. And this letter she left just happens to be written in the same code Mm -hmm. that the benefactor Mm -hmm. uses. Mm -hmm. So it's like... Maybe she had to go into hiding. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to say that her grandmother is the benefactor, Mm -hmm. but hey, they do need money. Yeah, I don't. I don't know, and it's like, of course, she'd want to protect her granddaughter, and you don't mm-hmm. fake your death for no reason. Yes. So mm-hmm. there's some master plan. Mm-hmm. I don't know if maybe she's been kidnapped, because mm-hmm. that could be maybe someone kidnapped her grandmother and pretend her death was faked, and mm. they're kind of using her as a puppet. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. Like I. Th- that's why I think it makes sense if Araya was, you know, the benefactor. You still think Araya is involved? Yeah, because, like, she was testing Lydia's, you know, Banshee powers a little mm-hmm. bit. And, like, maybe, like, her, maybe Lydia's grandmother is kind of, 
you know, getting older now and isn't able to, isn't able to <laughs> tap into those bashy powers as well. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? She needs a replacement. I don't understand the Meredith Walker. Like mm-hmm. her mother yeah. did obviously recognize the picture. Mm-hmm. She knew it was Meredith Walker, mm-hmm. but then we don't. Lydia didn't really keep like probing yeah. her mom to mm-hmm. be like, wait, How what, what about isn't Meredith? Isn't that frustrating? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's very frustrating. It's super frustrating. Yeah, and we know that. Like, why don't you just ask the question? <laughs> ask yeah, the question. We want to know. know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> who, who is Meredith? How do you know Meredith? Yeah. I, I liked Meredith. She I was cool. know. But like in the same yeah, teaser nice for our next girl. episode, there was like blood coming out of her ear. Did, have we seen that before? I, I don't think out we've of, seen that before. Uh, Meredith's ear. Uh, next week? Yeah. Wasn't there like a... Yeah, it's, it, you, you can t- it's like in a little flashbacky thing. Yeah. You okay. You're going to get a little more backstory. Obviously, we're not just not going to answer the question Thank God, about, right? Thank about God. the grandmother. <laughs> yeah. So you'll get a little more backstory about okay. what's going okay. on. Good. Well, I look forward to I that. I feel like that's mm-hmm. not a huge spoiler. That's not at all. <laughs> spoiler alert. You're in trouble. No. <laughs> no, too late. Um, so let's go ahead. I want to talk about when, when Scott's talking with his dad about killing. And he's like, you know, what do you do? How do you deal mm-hmm. with it? Because yeah. he overhears his dad sort of reporting him and he had that. to take yeah. out mm-hmm. that that's guy. That's a good scene. Yeah, yeah I love I that. I like mm-hmm. that and, and he's like, you know, I used to drink. That's how I, that's mm-hmm. how I compart mentalized things and he's like well how do you do that so it was like you know it he never really said it's like you just have to be strong i guess and not look to things like alcohol Mm -hmm. and i think you know scott's obviously asking all these questions because he feels like he's gonna have to kill someone by the end of you know this season it seems Mm -hmm. like we're being prepared for that and especially when we dive into his dreams that he's having while Mm -hmm. he's in his coma oh so Um, scary he's having those same dreams on repeat that either liam's getting killed or in the end he kills liam so and we've sort of been talking about this season how why isn't Scott turning into the alpha why isn't he using those powers and it was kind of obvious you know you dream about what you fear and and he was clearly fearing becoming this monster who kills Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, we can kind of infer that he's afraid of using his alpha powers too much mm-hmm, because he's mm-hmm. afraid to kill. That's what I yeah. got from this, the mm-hmm. talk with his father no, and his dreams. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Scott is a the type that, you know, his dad is saying, like, to save Styles, he had to kill, you know, he had to kill the chemist. And that was true. Mm-hmm. I mean, he, it was the very last moment. There was nothing else he could do. And, you know, that's kind of the world. It's, yeah. you know, in mm-hmm. law enforcement, people have to deal with that all the time. And, um, you know, and Scott wants to save everybody. Yeah. You know, he mm-hmm. feels like he's a type of character who feels like everybody could be reformed and everyone yeah. should have the chance <laughs> for reform. Yeah. And maybe the world doesn't work that way, but he wants it to. And, mm-hmm. you know, he's just having, but he, you know, deep down he knows that maybe someday that to save somebody else, he's going to have to kill right. somebody. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. you know, those are, those are dark struggles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, th- I really liked. I thought that I thought that Tyler and Matt did a yeah. fantastic yeah. job. Yeah, with that scene. they did. Yeah. They really did. They did because we finally got that inner turmoil through mm-hmm. seeing it through his dreams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Posey is just knocking it out of the park this season. I mean, yeah, he is. Oh, right. Yeah, he really is. He really yeah. is. He's done a great job. He's even, just so even, comfortable in every role that mm-hmm. you guys give him. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he, you know, and he, and, and Tyler in real life is such a you know a happy yeah. happy go lucky yeah. mm-hmm. nice dude, and he has to play this. Kind He's really like Scott's like a not dark, but because there's always hope there. But Mm -hmm. you know, just like so many bad things have happened, there's Mm -hmm. been so much loss, and just having to internalize all that. And you can really see it on his face, Mm -hmm. just like you can see it all. Boy, his dad's talking, you can see it all right there. And that just speaks to how good Posey it really is at his role. Yeah, Yeah. I think it was a brilliant casting choice to you know pick, pick somebody who is inherently just so bright. And hopeful, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, absolutely, like Tyler for sure. He is so different, right. though. I mean, yeah. he really is mm-hmm. that happy-go-lucky mm-hmm. guy. And then here, he's like this teenager who wants to protect everyone. Is very mm-hmm. sincere and feels mm-hmm. deeply. Mm-hmm. And not to say that he doesn't in real life, because obviously he has to. But yes. he doesn't display that openly. Yeah, no, as a person, yeah, he's having a good time and he's, right. he's yeah. very warm and very you know yeah. and very fun and mm-hmm. and you know and Scott is warm, but Scott is you know having yeah. to deal with a lot of really dark yeah. things. Yeah, we were just. Jeff and I were just talking about that today, actually. Just how Posey was, you know, has re- is was perfectly cast, and mm-hmm. then yeah. has really just grown up into that role mm-hmm. and made it made it wonderful. Yeah. And then that scene yeah. where he's killing Liam, like that was scary. Like I've yeah. never yeah. seen a, that side of Scott before. Yeah, never. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think obviously we can sort of predict that. 
he's going to come into a situation by the end of this mm-hmm. season that he's going to be put in a situation where he might have to kill someone in order to mm-hmm. save someone he loves. It, it seems like we're yeah. being taken in that direction. I think it's going to be Peter. I, I agree oh. with all the YouTubers, uh, YouTubers, <laughs> YouTubers out there. Um, yeah, lots of people have been saying that he's probably going to kill Peter to mm. avenge his father. And I think that's a real big possibility. Regardless of the V-necks, I mean, Peter, I mean, come on. <laughs> he can't kill Peter. Does he not deserve to die, though? I mean, seriously. Yeah, that's I, a little know. Crazy. I mean, I, I just want to see his character arc before we kill him off. I want to see him actually feel and be a father and full circle. Circle and actually be normal. Be normal. Like he mm-hmm. said, you got to do something nice in this episode for people to see you that way. And mm-hmm. he's technically trying to find Not her a, mother. But Why is he trying to find yeah. his mother? Is yeah. he doing it because he loves her? Is yeah. he doing it because yeah. he can get yeah. something out of it? Exactly. Yes. And why did Some Talia take away, why did Talia that, take memory. Away that memory? You know? Exactly. Yeah, so, that was interesting. I think yeah, she was doing that to protect... A few people. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh, she, Peter's yeah. an evil asshole. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, he, he's not on the benefactors list. Yeah. And let's go ahead and talk about Scott and the uh, the PAC's plan to sort of lure the benefactor mm-hmm. to them mm-hmm. by mm-hmm. saying we've killed Scott McCall and you can you have to come get your mm-hmm. visual confirmation. Mm-hmm. So, you know, after it's all said and done, they're not sure if the plan worked, but, but Scott says he thinks that it did because he thinks that it's actually a banshee who can sense death rather than actually need to see mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. But if that's true, why did we need all the other visual confirmation? Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know, but Scott's definitely also steering us in the direction of thinking that the benefactor is the banshee. But mm-hmm. I think that that's I think the banshee is actually helping the benefactor, mm-hmm. probably being forced to help. But yeah. I don't actually think right. that it's the benefactor. What if I was taking a drink every time you got a right answer? I know. Yeah, we yeah, should oh, really. Oh, I mean, yeah. not say anything. But I was like, what if she is over here, just like, and that's right. <laughs> oh Actually, that's right. <laughs> Rewind and watch. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be watching to see when you maybe, sit. Maybe subconsciously I am. I yeah. know that would be hilarious. Oh, that's gosh. funny. I, well, I'm not that doing anything. So you we, so. we have to look for patterns. Don't waste. Yeah. Please don't. <laughs> she has a great poker face, though. Go, go play she some does. video games. Yeah. Something useful. So somebody like, wrote on a comment. Like Somebody wrote on a comment in like, a previous show. Like They were like, you know, did you notice when June was asking this question and talking they about They looked this like thing? horizontal or yes, diagonally? Yes, yeah, that yes. <laughs> we had a good laugh about that. Amber's like, I think I saw a fly or something. I'm oh like, my yeah. god, <laughs> that's funny. So it was actually a fly. Oh I, god, not I that there's it. any flies in here, but she's she said that there. I think I saw something. <laughs> That's funny. really funny. funny. Oh, well, so oh um, we see Melissa McCall and oh. Kira's mom together. She did so good with oh. that. Oh my gosh, the amazing. screen! Oh, yeah. I know. I like it's that we got chills. that at the beginning of the episode because I was like, oh my god, did they not tell her about yeah. the plan? I know. <laughs> Seriously, I really thought they she didn't know. Yeah, because that would have been awful mm-hmm. if they yeah. really didn't tell her yeah, about for that. Sure. Yes. I was mm-hmm. immediately thinking about Jeff and how like he pulls a lot from talking to his mom, and I'm like, no way, no way would he not tell the mom? I think we mm-hmm. might have discussed, like, not telling her for about 30 seconds in the room. And then we were like, no, <laughs> no. that's terrible. Yeah. yeah. We're not yeah. doing that to poor Melissa McCall. We I love know. her. <laughs> we love Mama. Uh, so, what yeah, great she actress, did so. amazing. Yeah, she did really yeah, so. Uh, I'm Melissa Ponzio, McCall. great actress, and Melissa McCall. Yeah, Melissa McCall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Scott's mom. Did Jeff have that name already, or was he just like, oh, I like her name, Melissa? <laughs> you know, I don't, I actually don't know. I don't. She looks like a Melissa. She, I, yeah, she does. She does. Mm-hmm. I think that might have been. I think she was Melissa in the pilot, so I think it just might be a coincidence. But mm-hmm. uh, Jeff would know. I don't remember. We'll have to ask him. Mm-hmm. I don't remember last week, so I really don't remember <laughs> That's back funny. then. So we see that Kira and Scott. They are getting very close, except for they haven't had a date yet. So they're sort of, you know, everyone's dying around them. So they're like, when can we have an actual date? I know. (laughs) It's kind of inappropriate. (laughs) Right? Yeah. But they do kiss a lot this episode, at least. And it seems like they're getting closer because they're saving people. (laughs) Yeah, I know. Um, It's hard to be them. Yeah. Yeah, They they have such a mature... Everybody, all of the teens Mm -hmm. on Teen Wolf are so mature. Well, I like how the moms, Melissa McCall and uh, Kira's mom, Mm -hmm. I think it was Melissa that was like, you know, why are we letting them fight? And Mm -hmm. then Kira's mom was like, well, we can let them fight or we can tell them to go hide. So I like that. Because you want to raise 
brave children Mm -hmm. not to go and hide you gotta do what you gotta do you know yeah Yeah, Mm -hmm. so why is peter not on this list Maybe there just know. wasn't room. Yeah. Why is Peter yeah. not on this list? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is a question yeah. for Alyssa Clark. Did you know that a lot of the names on the list are, are my friends? Really? No. Really? So Were they funny. sort of mad about that, though? Because that's a Deadpool. I know. I, I thought about that later. Um, that's funny. Yeah. To, Tom By Hill the way. Is, a, is a professor of jiu-jitsu back in Pennsylvania. He's a oh super, super badass. I think Poor I guy. I think I just spit all over him. He's him super anyway. natural, yeah, too, water. right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, he's super natural. And then my friend Steve Grace says that he wants to be a weir fainting goat. So oh. every time he transforms, he passes out. That's fun. Look, we went to high school <laughs> together. We hang out. Is it surprising that that's what he wants to be? Oh, my God. So funny. Uh, he's on the list. Um, Patrick Clark is my brother. Uh, uh, and there's some others, too, and there Liz mm-hmm. Moore. I can't remember exactly whoever, but some people are just <laughs> random names, and then some people are I was like, oh, I'm going to try to get some of my... And then some of my friends' names wouldn't clear, and... And oh, I didn't have right. a lot of time. How do you get them like yeah. cleared though? Like, yeah, what, do what does do? that mean? There's a there. I can't. You know, Angela would actually know because she mm. does. Angela does most of our naming, and mm-hmm. she gets most of everything cleared. And some of those names are just people she cleared. Uh, mm. But yeah, we. Uh, you have to. There has to be a certain amount of them. Like Patrick Clark. There's so many Patrick Clarks. It's such an oh, Irish name I see. That, that makes sense. That you can have. There's not a specific person. I see, I but see, But I think, I like, my friend Eric Brent, for some reason, did not clear, because there's not enough of them in California or mm-hmm. in where the show's supposed to take place. There are certain rules, for sure. Oh, wow. So that makes sense. So, so is that because, like, it's bad juju? <laughs> no. It's just, just, like, a small amount of people? <laughs> That's right. There's a curse that will yeah. you know, send upon <laughs> your family name. No, it... it uh, <laughs> Asians are very serious about that kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, and obviously I am, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, they. I think it's more of a legal thing. Like you, mm-hmm. they don't yeah. want to write about your ex boyfriend and be like, yeah, jerky McJerk face oh, got hit by a car on law and order. <laughs> you know, whatever. That's hilarious. That so Why not? Funny. If I'm a writer someday, which I hope I am, I'm killing off all my ex-boyfriends. Watch out. <laughs> Watch out. Death is coming on national television. And that's how I treat my friends <laughs> if I put them on Deadpool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. you're saying. Um, that's terrible. Don't so, you want to be my friend? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so at the end, we see that, you know, Kate, of course, has to show up and screw stuff up, mm-hmm. but yeah. she was Aww. Reporting for Peter, and Peter wanted to make sure that Scott wasn't really dead. But how did Peter know about this plan anyway? No, wasn't Peter They're telling? Wasn't behind yeah, no, seriously? Wasn't <laughs> Peter telling Kate that um, that he wouldn't be dead? And like Kate went. Ag- I thought she was going against Peter. No, no, they're working together now. Yes, but, I But know that. also, it was just like Peter wanted to make sure that Scott wasn't dead. Now, mm. why would he want this? The only thing I can think of is he he's always wanted power. What's going to get him power? Killing an alpha would get yeah. him power. So he wants to I was kill thinking. Scott to mm-hmm. become the alpha is the only thing I can guess. Mm-hmm. And maybe he knows Scott has that money and he wants the money back. Or by killing Scott, he actually gets more money from oh, the benefactor. interesting. Interesting. And he would get power mm. of being the alpha because you have to kill an alpha to be an alpha. That's so very, very maybe he needs a gin partner. A gin partner? Yeah, when you play gin, you have to have partners. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to play gin very much, but I used to play with my either. grandma and she used to cheat and take my pennies. But <laughs> or like don't you have to have a certain amount of people to play golf? Don't you have to like round out your yeah, golf? Yeah. Probably. Mm-hmm. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Maybe. maybe I, guess so. I know for soccer and, that's the case and I honestly, their pickup basketball yeah. league. Maybe they need yeah. a Scott super good. I mean, I that would that make Kate, sense. Sure. Yeah. No, I play PlayStation. No. You need two people to play. I, I understand that one. I mean, so. I get that. Maybe there's another reason why Peter needs him around. Yeah. I thought Kate was there to kill, like, really kill He's Scott while he was yeah. weak. To <laughs> yeah. Well, it seemed, it seemed like Kate just wanted the body. She Sweet didn't actually want to kill him. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Chilling. Yeah, definitely. And those berserkers are still hanging out. Yeah. Awesome. Which I was afraid yeah, it was going to so kill cool. Liam. But I'm glad that yeah, it didn't, because Liam was kind of playing hero. It was it was interesting to see the pack without their leader, mm-hmm. without Scott. This episode, what they would do, and you know what, they still they did fine. Yeah, they Kira did. and Liam took on the berserkers, and they didn't die. <laughs> yeah, the, which is always good. What, yes, <laughs> something we talked about in the room, and then it didn't show up last night. And I'm maybe I just confused. Maybe there was a draft. I but. Originally, it was because the berserkers were just trying. They weren't. The berserkers are really badass. They were not trying to kill uh, Liam and Kira. They're just trying to keep 
they were trying. He was mm. trying to keep Liam and Kira from getting to Scott. From getting out because Kate was trying to take Scott's body. She says that. Mm-hmm. So their job wasn't to actually hurt them that mm-hmm. badly. That's right. why they're not dead. Mm. Right. But that okay. I, you know we are always overwrite the show. And we have to cut things, and sometimes mm-hmm. we're like, you know, like some things disappear. But that, you know, he wasn't trying. That makes that, sense. The berserker was just trying to keep them from getting back down. I think there was a, originally a line or something, but who knows what happened? And hmm. and we do. I mean, right now our finale, we're just assembling it, but the finale is like twenty minutes over. Oh really? Wow. That is so goodness. awesome. Yeah, well, so. can we get oh MTV gosh. to clear that? Because I mean, you guys it were the be best cool. show on MTV. It so be, yeah. yeah, I totally agree. We yeah. uh, <laughs> me too. Me too. <laughs> you know, sometimes with that situation, maybe it'll. Get on a DVD extra or something, you know. Oh. But when you're that far over, you start, you know. Gosh, what are you guys gonna to, cut? I know all of the stuff that you're in. Oh dang it! I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! I, yeah, I, I only know. had I'm 20 not, minutes. I'm not editing that that episode. So I don't know. <laughs> well, you tell them don't edit out all the, right. you know, the, the crazy I'll girl. Stand over. Gabe, don't you do yeah, that. Yeah, don't do it. Well, before we get into predictions, I want to ask you guys a few questions <laughs> like we do on here. <laughs> so we always ask Alyssa, and we'd like to ask you, Megan, what specifically maybe from <laughs> – she's answered, so you know it's a safe question. Okay. Um, what specifically from your childhood do you think led you into wanting to be an actress? Were you doing – were you putting on plays as a child, something – like that, or what do you think it was that sort of led you to this career? It's it's weird. Like I don't know. I, I got the actor bug when I was like young. It was at least around like five, six, or seven, somewhere in there. And I just I I don't know. I've just always been like drawn to film and television. And I remember watching um, Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman because they were married at the time. They were on the red carpet for like the Oscars. And um, and you know every time there's nominees, they always show like the movie clips from each you know one of the projects. And I was just like, wow, this is so amazing. Like. I want to do this. And I, I remember um, being 10 years old and they were having this big like Hollywood showcase and I went and um, I gave my name, I had to do a little speech. <laughs> and then I actually got like scouted by like three different agencies. And one of them was the William Morris agency. Wow, and, and I wow. met with them and I'll never forget it. Me and my mom, we sat down after the meeting and we were like, we, we don't want to be with them. We, we can't. We can't do the William Morris. I don't know, what are we thinking? So then we go with another agency, and then they go out of business two weeks later. Oh, oh my yeah. god! William Morris, I'm sorry. I should have <laughs> went with you. Um, anyway, but um, I don't know. I, I've taken way too long to answer your question, but I don't know. It's just oh. something about it, yeah. and, and I'm just such an animated, talkative, kind of crazy person as it is, and I don't know. Acting just gives you an opportunity to express and try different things, mm-hmm. and I don't know. I just like it. It's fun. Yeah, no. So much fun. You can be as many different people mm-hmm. and and try different careers as you want to. I yeah, think, I think it's much. awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, Alyssa, what were some like early influences of you? Like books, films, TV shows you liked? Oh, I mean, I love. I you know, you know, people are always like, I don't let my children watch TV. I, you know, <laughs> cool. I watch a lot of TV, and I think it's allowed me to learn a lot of different things. And I can talk about. It. I don't know. I'm like more of like a Renaissance stalker. I know a lot about a little a thing. Little. You know, I know like a, a lot, lot about of a little. things exactly. <laughs> and a lot of that's from TV. I mean, I watched everything. I used to watch The Muppet Show, and mm-hmm. then I'd watch, mm-hmm. watch Jacques Cousteau, and I used to watch Cosmos. I mean, loved Cosmos, and I love the new Cosmos. I'm a nerd. I love that stuff. Um, but like the things that the movies I w- watched, eighties horror films, oh yeah, uh, mm. and nineties horror films was like what, yeah, um, really probably and weird things. I mean, Twin, <laughs> Twin Peaks was like Twin my Peaks. favorite show mm-hmm. of all time, probably. I mean, I have a lot of favorite shows, but that's one of my favorite shows of all time, and. The Evil Evil Dead Two. Oh yeah, and, yeah. And uh, those are things that were really like influential. Repo Man, I think I've seen like fifty-seven <laughs> times. Blade I, Runner, I've seen a billion love times. Blade Runner. Um, and then you know westerns. I used to watch tons of westerns with my dad. The Good, the Bad, the oh. Ugly. Uh, Rio Bravo, uh, the Cowboys, just so many John Wayne things, um, <laughs> and army movies. Uh, I love uh, the Dirty Dozen. I love well the Magnificent Seven. Back to the, uh, and then uh, Chris Howe films, and um, I could keep talking about movies <laughs> and TV. I loved and I loved like I wrote I, down a yeah, few yeah, 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 that I know. haven't seen that you uh, named. So like <laughs> you know, I watched watch all the repeats of the Twilight Zone. Oh my god, I oh, still gosh. remember. So like one, let me tell you a quick story about the Twilight Zone as I was watching with my parents and my uh 
and the Talkie Tina episode came out. It's not Talking Tina, it's Talkie Tina. It's about, with Telly Savalas, it's about the doll that says, "My name, hi, I'm Talkie Tina and I'm going to kill you. She eventually turns oh the doll. Goodness. It's a little girl's doll. It's horrifying. That we'll is my mom. That was scary. <laughs> I'm not going to write that oh, one down. So yeah. I, forget that one. <laughs> I hated dolls and I was a little girl and my mom knew I hated dolls. My mom didn't like dolls either, probably, which is why I didn't like them. <laughs> and she turned to me and she's like, you don't want to watch this Twilight Zone. You need to go to bed. And so I went to bed, but I always slept with my door open when I was a little uh, kid. So now I'm in bed, and all I can hear <laughs> is, I'm talking Tina, oh, and oh, I, oh, I oh, hate you. And then she starts with hate, and then she says, I'm talking Tina, I'm going to kill you. Oh, and I'm oh, in my bed. Yeah. Yeah. So now you know why I am like I am. Yeah. <laughs> She's demented. Yeah. Yeah, we so get now it. I like to bring that fear to other people to make up for the fear that was brought to me. Yeah, yeah so oh, I, I like Twilight Zone a lot, but yeah, talking Tina. Totally messed me up. Yeah, That's I am crazy. never gonna watch Talking Tina. I'm no, never talk, gonna watch Talkie Tina. Talkie. I'm like, never gonna watch Twilight Zone. No, yeah. you yeah. cannot do scary. No, you guys should watch that episode. No, I Go can't. Watch. I can't. I can't. <laughs> even even when Scott was coming through the what do you call them? Like that box, that pipe. Oh yeah, it's just like the extension oh, of the morgue drawer. Right, oh, exactly. I be in that. The morgue yeah. drawer. Yeah, okay. That'd be no, heck no. I was like, okay, do I need to turn this off? Like, I, sometimes <laughs> Team I Logan yeah. gets me there. I'm like, I'm so I can't watch June, anything scary. I'm Taki Tina, and you should watch Twilight Zone. No. <laughs> oh, what about you? I'm gonna be um, hearing that now. Uh, Megan, can you kind of talk about maybe like one of your favorite set experiences, mm-hmm. or did they ever play a joke on you when you first came on, or what's a, a hmm. memorable? experience on set um well probably like a really good memorable one um because i don't like bugs I can't stand <laughs> bugs omg and um, i have a story for you after this oh no <laughs> um and i remember it was the it was the episode where i had to lay in the flipping dirt and this is when um derek and malia they're they're trying to figure out you know where the where satomi's pack is mm-hmm. and so you know he, he runs over and it's like that cute little moment oh, i yes, remember yes, okay yes. well there were these like large like freaking some sort of black bug i don't know why i'm like still doing this but this is like how big they were <laughs> um oh gosh i forgot the name stink bugs yes, oh. yes. you guys seriously they, they they look like you know some big old basketball with legs like they oh. are so big and they were crawling everywhere <laughs> And I just remember for the scene, like, and you know, Tyler knows that I do not like bugs. And I was just kind of chilling there waiting for Russell to hurry up with the scene. Because I'm like, come on, dude, I'm in the dirt. And I remember, like, Hecklin was over here, like, doing something to me. And he was like, oh, my God. And I was like, what the? F-? And then it was just him. Uh. But I freaked out about it because I literally <laughs> do not like bugs. And it's funny because he's so cute and so nice yeah. and everything. But at that moment, I was like, don't mess with me. Yeah, you're going to kill him. <laughs> Move over, Hecklin. But, but yeah, I mean, that was probably like the most like, I mean, it's a silly one. But yeah, probably that. No, that's and then, of course, fun. the scene that just aired. I mean, come on. I now. mean, yeah. we all enjoyed that, too. Oh, yeah. And you know, we oh shot God. that. That was like 2 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, it was. was it was. It was, it was so appropriate beautiful. time and everything. That's the yeah. perfect timing. It was so romantic. Sort of yeah. Rusty just made this, the. The set just looks so Gorgeous. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, oh, Alyssa? No. Like, what's a set story? I know you've been going to set a lot more lately. So they have, um, some days they have these uh, sandwiches with this pretzel <laughs> bread. And then, but the pretzel bread always has meat on it, and then I don't eat meat. So I think I've talked about this before. And I've, <laughs> and Ian always comes and tells us when the pretzel bread's on set, and then I take it, and I put the cheese on the pretzel bread, and I take the meat and I put it over there, and then I eat the pretzel sandwich. That is probably mm. one of my most memorable <laughs> yes. sets. Yeah, the food, the food is food amazing. Food is important. I food really, is important. I really, we're, yeah, I love food. No, uh, this season, um, in an episode coming up in 10, and we mm-hmm. go outside to the lacrosse field, and we had, I, I think Jeff Instagrammed some pictures of it. We have um, the rain tower, and mm. we have all the lights, the stadium lights. And wow. uh, my brother is in town, who's on the Deadpool list, and you know he'd never Poor really brother. been to a set before. And so I took him out there, and it just looked. It was, you know, we have a pre- we have a tiny budget. We have yeah. a really small budget for for making this television show, and that was a night where it looked expensive because it was. Mm-hmm. The yeah, it really did. Cool, it really did. And, and the lights and everyone's in silhouette and. Mm-hmm. It's so cool looking. And, I'm excited. Uh, that was just really, 
you know, I got to show off. So, mm-hmm. I was yeah, like, yeah. so that's an episode coming up. Yeah, that's it in was, the 10. Mm-hmm. It was yeah. the same for the Brayden and Derek episode for me. I don't know. It just like, it felt like at a whole nother level for yeah. some reason. Maybe it was yeah. just chemistry. I just love you guys together <laughs> so much. Aw, yay. I really do. It's I, so funny how I, I like wish it was like way. in my real life. You know, I, <laughs> I really do like, it doesn't have to be with Heckman. Like just some nice guy like that. And it's like, Oh, uh, yeah. That's, like, that's movie magic. Had, that's TV yeah. magic. I had a question yeah. from one of our guests, and I'm so sorry. That, uh, I should have written, written down the name. I'm so bad about that sometimes. But they were asking, like, if there ever was a scene of you guys actually, you know, and then it just got cut. Or was there, like, oh, never definitely any, not. Any, no. Like, there was never any and sort of... And I remember, of, like, complaining, too, because I actually... <laughs> Look, I actually, okay, I thought it was going to be a little bit more than what it was. Now, I understand, yeah. you know, MTV, PG-13, whatever. Yeah, we have people to kill. But we have a certain amount of time. Yeah, yeah. Lovey, lovey, yeah. yeah. We got to get to kill it. Yeah, I know. And, wait, and wasn't it something like, didn't, wouldn't you guys have, like, gone over time or something? Like, yeah. somebody said that's that, just, like. That's just what we told you, man. Oh, man. <laughs> but, no, we uh, honestly, we didn't even film it. So, it didn't mm-hmm. just cut there. Like, that literally. That was it. That was it. It was, like, okay. well, the it bed was and so cut. Real. Yeah, there, there's no. Well, there's, no fo- there's no footage that's just lying around. Yeah, we don't. no. Like, so at you all. hardly ever just like cut things and throw it away. Uh, not very, not very mm. often. Usually we have to just trim down. Mm-hmm. But I mean, who knows what the finale being as long as I know. Right. Twenty minutes. Yeah, just don't cut my stuff. Thank you. <laughs> well, let's roll into predictions really quick before we head out of here. Mm-hmm. We got an extra five. So <laughs> and now your after buzz TV <laughs> predictions. Ooh. So Alyssa, I'm gonna let you take this part of the show. <laughs> yeah, I know. Talk to you now. Uh, I predict I'm really hungry because I've been talking about sandwiches again. <laughs> Uh, I, so, let's see. There's more professional killers on the loose, it looks like. Mm-hmm. Um, Scott finds out that Derek's now wielding a gun, thanks to Brayden over here. <laughs> Thank uh, you. I don't know how he's going to feel about that. Um, and... I don't know. We'll get to see that Lydia, for some reason, wrote Styles' name on the Deadpool list. Yeah, that was really interesting. Yeah, and hopefully she's not being taken over by some right. sort of oh, so power. So many confusing I, things happening. I, I love it, though, because yeah, yeah, yeah. it keeps us watching every week because Definitely. we just we have no idea. And we love we it. We really don't. And I like it that way. I'm yeah. at a wit's end. And with that, I want to find out where can we all follow you, Megan, and find out what you're up to. Do you have a Twitter and a website? I do have a Twitter, which I'm like constantly on, and I'm trying to quit because I'm oh. seriously on it like so much. Like, because <laughs> I love my fans. They're yeah. so sweet, Aww. and the freaking fandom for Teen Wolf, mm-hmm. like, yeah, so amazing. They've it's just insane. been yeah. like, well, some of them like hate me. But oh, I can't like, imagine that. There's a Why? large group. Let's well, keep the hate too. You can hate Braden if you want, but let's not hate Megan. Yeah, no, yeah. Like, just don't leave me alone. I mean, you know, she's gonna buy me sushi no and, and, pre- and pretzel sandwiches <laughs> and pretzel sandwiches. Apparently, um, but yeah. No, so I'm on Twitter. I'm okay, constantly great. on there, interacting with the fans. Um, it's just at Megan Tandy, and I'm trying to up my Instagram game. So Ooh. I'm on Instagram as well. Awesome. Is nice. it also Megan just Tandy? at Megan Tandy? Yeah, at Megan Tandy. And then same thing with Facebook, Megan Tandy. But I'm mostly on Twitter rambling because that's what I do best. Awesome. Well, thank <laughs> you so much for coming. Yeah. We really appreciate you. You being this here. This is your second time. Whatever. Yeah. And like please come back. It's like her oh, fourth. She comes like every season. Oh, yeah. yeah. Never mind. Alyssa, I where? I stayed at that door and they're like, no, Alyssa, you can't come you. on again. And I'm like, <laughs> like, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Alyssa, I know you don't have a Twitter or anything like that. So we can just tweet Megan maybe questions yeah, for tweet Alyssa. It to me. Yeah, send all the death threats her way. No, uh, I'm already like getting <laughs> weird stuff. Yeah, yeah. Leave, yeah, people leave me alone. Quit being weird. Yeah, <laughs> just it's 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 all pretend. Oh, and June, where can we follow you? You guys can follow me at Miss underscore June Lee, M S underscore June Lee. Okay, awesome. And you guys can follow me at Cinematic Escape on Twitter. You can check out my blog, cinematicescape.com. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're gonna be here next week with Yay. another special guest, and thank you guys again for joining us. Thank Absolutely. You guys. Thank you. Bye bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! 
views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.